Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. It is November. We have almost made it through all of 2020, but you know what that means? We are painting another birth month flower and November's birth month flower is the chrysanthemum. So let's jump right into drawing it and then painting it. Okay, so to start, I'm just gonna go through my materials for the drawing portion. I'm actually gonna be drawing and painting in my Etcher Lab cold press watercolor sketchbook. I'm just gonna do the sketch here and the watercolor part here. And then you need a pencil and an eraser and then some black pen. So you can do this with just one or whatever black pen you have like laying around. I'm using my Tombow mono drawing pens in a size 03, size 01. There's just a difference in the size nibs. Um, and I like to do the outline with the bigger and then the shading with the smaller nib. Okay, so let's jump in. Now this is a bit more of a difficult flower. I'm gonna be honest here. It makes me a little nervous. Um, so we need to take our time and be patient. Chrysanthemums have like a lot, a lot of petals. Okay, let's sketch out the center here. Okay, and there's gonna be petals wrapped around the center. So we have this little circle here. And then I'm gonna do another like little circle here. And then just another bigger one here. Okay, these are just guidelines. So for this center circle, the petals are gonna be quite tight together. So you're gonna see the bottom of these petals. So we're just gonna start doing little petals wrapped tightly around this center. Okay, and then you're just gonna see the peaks of the other ones on the other side. So you're gonna start doing these like kind of little triangle teardrop shapes. And these are the parts that are curved up. And then you're gonna see the inside like that. So let's do a couple of those like this, going all the way around like this. Maybe you'll see more of the side. They're gonna get a little bigger on the side like that. I know this kind of looks weird, I'm hoping it turns out. They get a little longer as we go around the side. Okay. Like this, and then as we get around the back, you're gonna just kind of flip it upside down. The point's gonna come in the middle, kind of. <laughs> okay, like this. And then you're gonna connect them to the center of that petal. So the inside. Okay, so it's like these petals are kind of like folded. And these are just sketches so we can get a little bit more in detail after. So that's the first kind of round of petals. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then we're going to do some, the same kind of thing going out more. So we're going to have another kind of layer of these coming around. And they get a little flatter as they go around. A little scoopier. And then as we get back here, you're just gonna see the tops of them. So again, you can start bringing them towards the center. Okay. Okay, then we're just gonna do one more row. There's a, but there's a few more rows, but I don't want to do that. So we're just going to start by bringing these petals out, doing the little fold apart and bringing them in. And you can make them a little bit bigger. This is not my favorite flower. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> I'm more of, I, I think I'm also just really impatient. I don't like things that take a long time. And this is one of those things that will. So 
Hopefully my looser painting of this flower will be a bit faster. So you can come up and then come right down, cut it off there. So it's like you're seeing the side of it. Kind of like a P and then add an extra little. You can just have some that aren't really folded. Totally up to you. Actually, I'm just gonna. Such an odd flower. Okay, it's starting to look a little bit better now that there's more. Okay, now let's draw the stem with the leaves. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little stem coming down this way, like that. And then we're just gonna have some of the leaves coming off. So we're gonna do a line, and then they're kind of like jaggedy kind of leaves. Like that. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of make a jaggedy point, maybe more of a side view, so make it a little bit thinner, like that. Okay, let's get into doing it with the ink. So let's start by outlining the center and then just outline all the petals. I think when I outline them this time, I'm gonna make them a bit more, like less rounded and symmetrical. I'm gonna have a couple like poking out a bit more, but let's just see how this goes. Okay, so we're done the petals and let's just outline this stem and the leaves. Just make them nice and jagged. Like so. Okay, so now that we are done all that, let's erase those pencil marks. Now we are going to shade, and this is also gonna take a little bit of time, but I think it's important and will really make the piece pop. Okay, so let's start by doing some lines coming from the base of these first petals. And right where they're all kind of tightly together, we're gonna to just make it a little bit darker. And curve some of those lines with the shape of your petal. And then, as they're close together here, you're just gonna do some more shading. Let's make it a little bit darker behind those first petals. You can do some lines coming from the top like that. Okay, and now the shading's gonna come from the base of each petal. So this is kind of be kind of the lighter part. So you can do a couple little lines like that on this, but you're gonna do more shading coming from the base of each petal, going backwards. Do like a couple lines there, but right where all those, the base of all those petals are connecting. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, I think all the shading for that is done. You could do it a bit more in depth if you wanted to, but I don't have patience for that. Um, okay, so now let's shade the stem and the leaves, but we're just gonna make it a bit more minimal. We're not going crazy with this. So I'm just gonna shade kind of under here where the stem would meet some of those petals just to make it a little bit darker, like there's a bit of a shadow. And then where the leaves are kind of hitting the stem too. Just a couple lines and then at the base. And then here you can do the veins. Like that. And if you want to just kind of do a little bit of line shading. 
you have to, but or you can, I don't, you don't have to, I mean. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep it simple like that. Okay, so now that we're done drawing that crazy flower, <laughs> we are going to paint it. And I'm still using my Etra Lab Cold Press Watercolor Sketchbook. I have my Princeton Snap brushes, brush right here in a size six round, and my Winsor & Newton Professional Watercolors. Let's do this. We're gonna make it a bit more loose because I don't wanna go through all of that again. Um, and I think we're gonna go for a lighter, like a yellowy orange color. So let's start with some cadmium orange. And I'm just gonna, this needs to be stuck back in there. I'm gonna take some of that color off and I'm just gonna start by again doing that center. Little kind of strokes going around. Okay, like that, with a lighter wash to start. Okay, so we're gonna keep doing that. And then we're gonna, just in this like ball kind of shape. Okay, we're gonna have some shorter ones back here, like the tips of those petals. Like that. Okay. Then we're gonna bring it up a little bit further. Maybe right in front. This is not an easy flower, I'll tell you that. We're making this one a little bit more whimsical, not as tightly wound together like the drawing. So we're gonna have some petals that are kind of dancing a bit more here. Okay, and then we're gonna have some coming down Like so. I just grabbed a bit more pigment there. Changing up the values, so doing some lighter, some darker. Okay. Like that. So you're gonna do some up, some down. Like these petals are starting to fall. Now I'm gonna grab a bit of cadmium red. I'm gonna do some more. You can tap it to some of those white parts and then you can do some petals with this color on its own. Not too many, you don't want too many to blend into each other. Okay. Curve it. Just very loose. Okay, and then I'm gonna wait for those to dry and then we'll do a couple more making them a bit sharper. But for now, let's wait for that to dry and we'll do our stem. So I'm just gonna grab some sap green here. Actually, maybe I'll do some hooker's green and dioxazine purple to get a darker green. Okay, and I'm just gonna go down. And then we're gonna do some of the leaves. You're gonna come off of that stem Let's do the center first, and then you're just going to do some kind of points coming out like that. You can connect them a bit. Let's do another one to the side. Start with that center, and then do some points, and then connect them so it's a bit thicker. Like that. Let's grab a bit more paint. Oopsie, that's too much purple. And you can go back in with a bit more darker pigment. Add some contrast in there. Like so. Okay, so let's wait for that to dry and then we can do a couple more petals on top to make them a bit sharper. Okay, so now that it's dry, let's do a couple sharper ones. So I'm gonna grab my cadmium red because we're just gonna go a little bit darker. Go right from that center and do some Actually, let's get some cadmium orange in there too. And these will be sharper because we're painting on wet, or on dry, sorry. We're doing wet on dry. You can do a couple little curves up here. So it's like the ones that are behind. Grab a bit more of that 
red, especially down at the bottom here where they all kind of meet. Okay, I might even grab my orange. And then grab some red and then tap the base of that those orange ones so it's just a little darker at the center where they all meet. And just do those short little ones right there. Okay, and there you go. Let's grab a bit of a darker color. So I have this like burgundy color here and I just mix it a bit with my red and I'm just going to tap just a little bit where they all kind of meet just to create a bit of shadow. And then maybe in the center here, like that. And then some of those darker bits can be coming down just a little bit too, like that. And there you go. There is your watercolor chrysanthemum and your drawing. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for even more. Have a great day guys, bye.